for today's national opinion in Dave Valley. How about your thoughts on this? You're going to ask me now? I yes. thought I was going to wait till the end. Oh, no. Oh, right, 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 right off the top. Don't bury the right. We asked our viewers on Twitter. Let's check out the first tweet here. It has to I, That's why having home field advantage is important. But they are talking about having the roof over. Uh, former catcher, right? you got to be locked in on every pitch. Home or road, does that noise affect you? And Sue Kim got some love on Twitter. Check out this tweet. Big on Wednesday. They certainly did a pinch hit home run to put this is a deep, deep line. If that's what they need, they needed yeah. now Hun Su Kim. Hun Su Kim, really? I mean, they got 35 Just guys in that line up up the line. Line. Yeah, yeah, Of course. So deep with power, my goodness. All right, let's talk pitching. Yeah. Yes. Uh, because against the, the Toronto Blue Jays, he has struggled this year. You know, whether it's Tillman or Stroman or Bumgarner, or Syndergaard, any of these four guys who are pitching and starting these win or go home games, if they go out there and just shut down the opposition, how much does that help the club and themselves the rest of the way? You guys run and finish it. Let's yeah. talk strikeouts and grounders here. Part of their these starters have really struggled against the opposition. Should get those strikeouts. Okay, let's have some fun with Twitter, mm -hmm. shall we? Let's do it, please. Right, we've been asking you your take on this, and we start with Brad. He is going to landing the too. Wow, the way he landed. Some of these other catches that we'll see, are, they're a little rocky, right? You fall down, you bowl over. Gerard Dyson does it like, yeah, I just did this in BP ten times. Landed like a cat on his feet, then he just, like he said, just jogged in like if nothing ever happened. The speed so impressive. <laughs> All right, Rob. Robert tweets in. End up, but you're going to hit something that's going to, you know, break it open. And he's, that's why it's so much fun to watch him play every it single is. day. It looked like a torn ACL <laughs> to me. Wouldn't you be concerned, though, if you're running knowing that the bullpen is out there and not enclosed? Most people would be, mm -hmm. but not Hunter. <laughs> you know, find a wall so I can just run in. <laughs> oh that's gosh. the type of attitude that he brings to the ballpark every day. He sure does. Let's get to this tweet from. It's, you know, it makes that place uh, one of your favorites. That was important just, to note. Yeah. yeah, not on that play. That was amazing right there. Just going on that small little wall, wall right there. Just knowing funky wall. You have to get out there early and see the surroundings. And he played that perfectly. He acted like he knew it was there, right? Yes. He did. That one, though, is that one more impressive than what Gerard Dyson did? Like, how you, do you match up those two? Which one? Uh, with ease, because all he has to do is just this. And uh, Dyson had to... You go straight back. It's a different, I mean, that's a different animal. Not to take anything. Dyson has the lead then right now. Yes, right. he's winning. Dyson. Right now. We have a couple more here. <laughs> because you see what he did? He is, so he takes a peek, yes, to the wall. He knows how far he is. He knows how fast he's running. Realize how difficult these plays are really, you know, to make. These are very hard things to do. That you make. And that makes Ben and Tenney's more impressive because there is no dirt there. He didn't. He didn't feel any dirt. That's a great point, Kevin. All right. That's awesome. You're going to love observation. I like that. I know the trough. <laughs> That's huge right there. All right, you're going to. Just not give up on that ball. He, I'll have him, okay? <laughs> I'll put him in my team, okay? I'll take care of whatever I need to take care of to get him playing back like a pro, hustling out there and use, utilizing that talent. Any team can use that type of, uh, you know, a player like Jaisal Puig. I mean, that play was amazing to me. Sometimes I think, though, some of the Cuban players with the rocket arm, Cespedes too, bait the runners. Oh, I fumbled it. Oops. Bam. So what you're saying is that he may have let it go on purpose? Conspiracy theory out there for a top play. <laughs> All right, Puig, you heard Carlos. He wants to guide you. Give him a call. Don't play for me, buddy. You're a stud.